Good morning, dear friends. Welcome to you all for the celebration of this Holy Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear friends, let's acknowledge all our sins and failures and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to an everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously Keep from us all adversity, so that, unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. Naturally stupid are all men who have not known God, and who from the good things are seen have not been able to discover him who is, who is, or by studying the works have failed to recognize the artificer. Fire, however, or wind or the swift air, the spheres of stars, impetuous water, heaven's lamps, are what they have held to be the gods of, who govern the world. If charmed by their beauty, they have taken things for gods, let them know how much the Lord of these exalts, excels them, since the very author of beauty has created them. And if they have been impressed by their power and energy, let them deduce from these how much mightier is he that has formed them, since through the grandeur and the beauty of the creatures we may, by analogy, contemplate their author. Small blame, however, attaches to these men, for perhaps they only go astray in their search for God and their eagerness to find him, living among his works, they strive to comprehend them and fall victim to appearances seeing so much beauty. Even so, they are not to be excused if they are capable of acquiring enough knowledge to be able to investigate the world. How have they been so slow to find its master? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. The heavens proclaim the glory of God, and firmament shows forth the works of his hand. Day unto day takes up his story, and night unto night makes known the message. The heavens proclaim the glory of God. No speech, no word, no voice is heard, yet their span expands through all the earth. They are words to the uttermost bounds of the world. The heavens the proclaim, proclaim the, the glory, glory of, of God. God. Please stand to greet the gospel. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sacred emotions and thoughts. Hallelujah. 
Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. Jesus said to the disciples, As it was in Noah's day, so will it also be in the days of the Son of Man. People were eating and drinking, marrying wives and husbands, right up to the day Noah went into the ark, and the flood came and destroyed them all. It will be the same as it was in the Lord's day. People were eating and drinking, buying and selling, planting and building. But the day Lord left Sodom, God rained fire and brimstone from heaven, and it destroyed them all. It will be the same when the day comes for the Son of Man to be revealed. When that day comes, anyone on the housetop with his possessions in the house must not come down to collect them, nor must anyone in the fields turn back either. Remember, Lord's wife, anyone who tries to preserve his life will lose it, and anyone who loses it will keep it safe. I tell you, on that night, two will be in one bed, one will be taken, the other left. Two women will be grinding corn together, one will be taken, the other left. The disciples interrupted, Where, Lord? They asked, he said, Where the body is? They too will the vultures gather. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear friends in Christ Jesus, in yesterday's Gospel passage, we were confused, or the people who were confused gospel itself very clearly narrates, look here, look there, for you must know the kingdom of God is among you, and false prophets will come in his name. So, how will we know who is the real prophet, who is the real messiah? And today's gospel passage, the Lord very clearly points out how we should get prepared to face the Lord's second coming. As Noah's day, he reminds, and as the Lord's day, they were prepared. Who were prepared? Those people who led a life pleasing to God. The families of Noah and Lot. What about others? Even Lord's wife, what happened? She was not prepared. That's why when the Lord sent fire and brimstone from heaven, she was scared. Other members were not at all scared. She turned back and she became a salty stone. Yes, in our life too, as we all believe in the Lord, we have to try hard that we may strengthen our faith in the Lord. Otherwise, we also may be doubtful, we'll be confused. We may be misguided by false prophets. Yes, dear friends, as the Lord guides us, let's ask the Lord that we may be graced by strengthening our faith. God bless us all. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion, through Christ our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with so great goodness you formed it anew, and so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sanna in the highest, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, 
as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them in the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you, Throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All glory and honor is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At our Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you, peace be with you, and peace be with you. Amen. Amen. God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take the rest of the book. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The disciples recognized the Lord Jesus in the breaking of the bread.
Just wait, sister. In the name of this community, take the body of our Lord Jesus Christ, our absent sister, so that she may be joined in our Eucharist. May God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy that by the pouring forth of your Holy Spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has endured through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you, dear friends, for participating in this Holy Mass. God bless you all. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ.